Hey guys, Fox here, hope you're all well. What you're looking at is a Japanese Famicom. Um, its cartridge slot needs cleaning, guys, and that's what I'm going to show you how I clean a cartridge slot. Um, you may have noticed an LED indicator there. This has been modded, guys. I modded this about a week ago. Um, it has a power LED. It also has video art through a 3.5mm. Um, stereo headphone jack that that gives me composite video and audio uh, because these Famicoms they connect through RF and if you've got a UK TV good luck trying to tune it in because this is NTSC J and obviously our TVs are PAL but when you composite mod these they're fine guys they work perfectly fine on UK TVs But yeah, guys, this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to clean the cartridge slot. Um, and the way I do it, guys, is I get some A4 paper. I wrap it around the card and I just insert it. And uh, it cleans the uh, pins. And obviously I use a bit of isopropyl alcohol as well. Um, the reason I use A4 paper, guys, I find out um, through a lot of trial and error, that is if you use anything like a kitchen tile or something like that when you start putting the cord in and out it basically breaks off and gets stuck in the cartridge slot and you spend about an hour trying to get it out <laughs> so uh, yeah give me five minutes to set everything up guys and I'll get cleaning this cartridge slot um, yeah I'm doubling up on the paper guys I don't know there's two sheets there if you can see that um, the reason I'm doing that is because this card, this screw, fi screw fix card, is not particularly thick, and I used to I need to use, you know, double the thickness. So uh, what I'm going to do is try and do this one-handed, and this is where all the isopropyl alcohol shoots all over the place. <laughs> is I'm just going to come and soak the bottom of that. To make sure I get it all over, that's it. And basically, I'm just going to come in. I don't know if you can see that. If I can get right down there, I'm just going to come in, push it in, pull it out, push it in, pull it out, push it in, pull it out. I'm just going to do that a few times. And you can already see the, the crap on the actual card just get that nice and wet now what I can do is get another piece and do the same again I might wet it before I 
I mean, this is alcohol, guys. I'm not worried about it. You know, and just it will just evaporate. So. Same again. And you can already see it's cleaner, guys. It's, it's, it's got most of it off. And that's, I might give it one more run, just to be on the safe side. So what I can do, because I've doubled up on these, well, this is going to be a bit tricky. What I can do is just do that. Still enough alcohol on there, guys. I've got it all over my bench. <laughs> and that should be good, guys. That's clean the cartridge slot. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I just want to finish the video by uh, giving you another tip, guys. Um, what I do when I get these consoles is I don't have a very big house. I have a spare room, but I don't have a big room where I can have all the consoles out at once. So what I have to do is get a console out, play it for a while. I'll get bored, pack it away, get another console out, and, and keep rotating like that. Now, what I do whenever I uh, store away a console with a cartridge slot like this is I want this to be in really good condition when I come back to it because eventually I'm going to come back to it you know it could be two three months later um, so what I do is that technique I showed you with the card and the paper where you just slide it in and out instead of using isopropyl propyl alcohol I use WD-40 and what that does is it puts a light coat of WD-40 on those cartridge pins so the next time you get it out, you know, it hasn't corroded or anything. And it works really well, guys. So uh, I just thought I'd give you that last final tip before I go. As you can see, I've the Famicom all set up. I thought, you know, I'd better show you it working. It wouldn't be much of a video if I didn't show you it working. Before I pirate it on, guys, I thought I'd show you the uh, 3.5mm stereo jack. It basically just carries composite video and audio to the TV. I have my Famicom N8 in there so I'm just gonna power this on and there you go as you can see it's working guys um, what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna start the game that's in memory I think it's Mega Man 3 uh, it's just because I'm holding a camera and I can't select the game so if I just press start you should remember what was in there last time And there you go guys, it's working fine. Uh, and before you ask, no, I haven't got rid of the old TV. If I pan around, it's there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, guys, it's working fine. Nice and clean now, so I've got to worry about that for a long, a long while. So, uh, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one.